All right, well, let's check in with KRQ News 13 anchor Matt Morrow, who has the morning's news headlines. Are you very jealous about the cracking candy right now? Don't you want some? Oh, I am. I am. It's, it's a little green. It and I is. expected more to be a little blue, but it still looks really good. And great face and body is awesome, by the way, ladies. Mm -hmm, we love yeah. it. All right, we'll talk more about that candy and Breaking Bad coming up in just a minute. First, we do want to tell you about your headlines on this Friday. Starting out with some breaking news we've been following since about 5.30 this morning. New Mexico State Police investigating a police shooting that happened overnight in Santa Fe. State police are telling us just before midnight, a Santa Fe police officer saw a car that looked like one that had been stolen from an all subs on Calle La Resolana on Cerrillos Road. When the officer tried to stop that car, we are told a person inside started shooting and the car took off. Police chased it just down the road on Cerrillos to the Big Five Sporting Goods on Clark, just a few blocks away, where we are told an officer shot a man in that car. That man was rushed to Krista St. Vincent Regional Medical Center. He is alive this morning. We have a crew in Santa Fe. Get more details on this at KRQE.com and also coming up on News 13 at noon. Police in Los Lunas have a homicide investigation on their hands this morning, their very first this year. Just after 7 last night, officers got a call that the man was lying on the ground bleeding from his stomach. When they got there, they called paramedics. That man was airlifted to the hospital where we are told he died. Detectives are currently executing a search warrant on the street where this all went down. It's on the north end of Camino del Rey. Police have not released the name of the man who was killed. Well, new questions coming out now about whether Albuquerque's mayor signed off on a police crackdown on groups feeding the homeless downtown. That crackdown was in 2010. It led to two costly lawsuits and not a question about its true motive. Michael Herrick and Alfonso Hernandez were arrested, accused of not having a permit to feed the hungry. The problem is they don't have to have a permit to feed the hungry. Herrick says the mayor did not address the problem, and as a result, both men sued. It's a very frightening experience to have police officers with guns come up to you and start demanding permits and asking you what you're doing when all you're trying to do is help out by sharing some food with hungry people. It's all right, Mayor R.J. Berry's office would not answer this question, whether the mayor was directly involved in this crackdown. We asked that question a number of times yesterday. The city settled the two lawsuits for $85,000. As part of that settlement, the city installed water fountains and electricity in Coronado Park for other groups to help feed the hungry, and police no longer ask about those permits. Well, you know, there always is a lot of hoopla around elections, particularly the cost of them. Here's an idea that's being tossed around right now. How about printing your own ballots at home and then go cast your vote? Bernalillo County Clerk Maggie Toulouse Oliver is part of a panel of Western elections officials meeting in Denver right now, brainstorming ideas to improve the voting process. The goal is to slash wait times and bring voting procedures to the Internet age. They say advances are possible without alienating older voters and people who don't want to give up the in-person election voting. Bernalillo County has already switched voting centers so voters can vote outside their precincts. Now out in Los Angeles, there are developed voting machines that can read ballots that you print at home. Just kind of like your airline boarding passes will keep you posted about what they decide to do here. All right, back into Duke City. If you've got accounting skills and some other skills, hey, and you need a job, listen to this. There could be a job for you today. H&R Block looking for 50 seasonal workers, everything from office managers to customer service representatives to tax professionals. If this is you, take your resume to the H&R Block office at Wyoming and Central today from 10 to 2. If you're bilingual, they're particularly looking for you. Best of luck. Have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget, get more headlines back here Monday morning, 430 to 7, day before school starts. We'll be here. We'll let you know everything you need. Ladies, Kristen, Nikki, send it back to you. By the way, Kristen, that fly, it is back. It's bothering oh, what? me again. The morning news fly? Yes. The morning news oh. fly. This is back. Us forever. We need to get like a giant swatter. Yeah, here, you can use the mallet. I'll send it over. <laughs> uh, that'll work. That'll work. You ladies have a great Thanks, weekend. I'll Matt. see you on Monday. Thanks.